Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to Little Underrated. Hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to check out a video from Rachna which is titled as Am I buying this De December special stock? Fundamental Analysis 2022. So let's see what stock she talks about for the December month, a special December month stock and regarding the fundamental analysis of that particular stock, uh, would it be a good opportunity to be considered for retail investors or not? Let's jump to the video. बोल बोल क्या करो क्या करो अरे सात नंबर है लगा दे क्या करूं ये स्टॉक ले लूं अरे उठा ले रे Hey folks, see Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very interesting video wherein we are going to discuss about a stock which must be on your watch list for the month of December. But before we move on, I would want to really thank these two people, Mr. Mangesh and Mr. Rohit for their wonderful comments. Well, if you also want to be featured in our video, then don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box below. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as usual, let's get started with what does the company do? Delta Corp is the largest listed casino and gaming company and it's also largest in the organized space of course in the same casino and gaming company category. As far as this company is concerned they operate into both categories which both categories in the live segment and also in the online segment. This company has three divisions so let's understand them one by one. The very first one is casino gaming division. Second one is online gaming division and the third one is hospitality division. So first let's discuss about casino gaming division. This company owns licenses both in the land based category and also in the offshore casino category. So what do we mean by this land based and offshore? You might have seen casinos on land, correct? And you might have seen casinos in boats which are floating on sea. That is what? That is offshore casino. Okay. Now where do they have these casinos? They have in Goa, Sikkim, Nepal and where their customers play various live games like what? Poker, Roulette. Roulette. I don't know about this. I don't know. Anyways, Teen Patti, Bakarat, uh, Seven Up, whatever, uh, excuse my pronunciation, Seven Up, Seven Down, Money Wheel, Mini Flush, and a lot more. Okay. Second category is Online Gaming Division. You might have definitely heard about Online Poker or Online Rummy. And you also might have heard about the website adda52.com. Now, this website is run by Delta Corp. Okay. Going on to the third division that is the hospitality division, the company owns and operates hotels in Daman and Goa and they have a lot of amenities like swimming pool, gym, spa, then uh, banquets, lawns and a few more. Well, like we saw in the pre-bumper of the video, there are some people who love to gamble for fun. If it is in your party fund amount, maybe okay, but if you are wanting to gamble in stocks, uh -uh, that's not the right way to do it. If you want to invest your money in stocks, ideally you should be doing proper thorough analysis and then only you should be investing in stock markets. But then the big question is from where can you learn all these things? Simple answer for that you can check out our website www.rachanaranade.com. We have three levels. If you are a beginner, you should check out the beginner level courses. If you know some basics, you can head on to the intermediate level courses. And if you want to become a pro, you can go ahead with the advanced level courses. To check out the website, link is there in the description box below. And if you want, you can also use this coupon code to get some extra discount. Well, going back to Delta Corp, can you guess which quarter? Animation team. Can you guess which quarter can be the best for this company? I think you got it right. It has to be the December ended quarter. For that, let's check some stats on screener.in. Now, if you see here, sales for December 2019 are better as compared to September 2019. If I go to December 2020, here the sales are better than September 20 as well as June 20. Of course, everyone knows about the COVID thing, right? If I go on to December 21, this uh, quarter, again, sales were way better as compared to September 21 quarter and June 21 quarter. And I think the same analogy can hold for even December 2022 quarter. 
Well, now that we know that the quarter ended December is very good as per the financials, as per the sales, let's have a look at the price performance in this similar period. So if you see from 2017 to 2021, from October to December, this stock has always given double digit returns, of course, barring 2021, where it was almost flat. Well, 2017 was amazing with 56% return. Even 2020, of course, we know the reason, but it's a 43% return. If I'm checking for only two months, November to December, year again, you can see that barring 2019, where it was a minus 5%, all other years have given good returns. And again, 2021 has been flat. December only, even if you check, year also you can see that 2017 is 17% return in only one month. 2018 is 5% return in one month. 2019 was bad with minus 8% return in one month. 2020, again, of course, understood it's a 23.77% return in one month. And even 2021, it has still given a positive return of 3.68% return only in one month. Moving ahead with the financials of the company, if you see stock P is at 24.3 and if you see industry P, that is at 33.5. So it is valued lower as compared to its industry average. Problem is that ROE is only 3.25%, ROCE is also at only at 5.4%. Debt to equity ratio is good at only 0.01%. If I, uh, 0.01, right? So if I go to P and L, here you can see sales at an all time high, operating profit also at an all time high and PBT also at an all time high. One point I want you all to tell is about the stock price CAGR. 10 years, only 11%. Oh, 11% is still not bad. Chalo, hai. 5 years stock price CAGR, minus 2%. 3 years, 2%. 1 year, minus 16%. So, that is the reason why we are not focusing on this stock as a fundamentally strong stock from a long-term perspective or anything like this. We are focusing on this stock only from the theme of December. Well, now let's have a look at the chart of Delta Corp. So if I were to just see here, I can see that there is kind of a resistance. So I'm just going to do an Alt H because here you can see the stock tried to go up, it failed, came back a long way. Again, you can see this candle with a big wick, but still came back. And right now, again, it has faced a resistance at this level. So we know the upper end, right? But how about the lower lows or is it the higher lows? For that, if I were to draw a trend line somewhere like this, here you can see that the company's chart, Delta Corp chart, is more or less like an ascending triangle pattern. Here you can see that there are higher lows, but on the upside, it's facing a resistance at this level. So it will be very interesting to see here what is the price movement of the stock. Is it able to break above this level or not? And if it does, well, what is this level? This level is of 236 rupees. If it is able to break this level, then it will be really interesting to watch the price movement of the stock. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this short and sweet video on Delta Corp. If you did, don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you want to learn more about a swing trading strategy, you can click here. And if you want to know more about top three stocks in the defense sector, you can click here. Till then, take care. Jai Hind. And it was again an interesting video. I was not uh, expecting the Delta Corp to be discussed as one of these stocks uh, for the December month investment. But the insight she has shared regarding the stock and its uh, performance in specifically this December ending quarter is uh, you know quite considerable it can't be ignored at least uh, we will keep on checking other useful videos as well till then please subscribe to little underrated and I will see you in the next video take care bye bye